Hello everybody. Hi, my name is Dr. Keista Bilberry and I was letting you guys know that God's love is sufficient. There's there's more to God's love that meets the eye, right? I just wanted to come on here because every time I do a YouTube video for God, he just amazes me and um he is so awesome, you guys. If you never had a personal relationship with God, the timing is now because his love is so everlasting and he gives you peace and peace and peace and more peace you guys um i just you know i had went to the christian bookstore and i do these videos because someone out there needs to listen to the messages that god gives me because all I care is that somebody will get saved, filled with the Holy Spirit, and uh, will be added to the number in heaven, right? So I went to the Christian bookstore in uh, um, Mardell's, I believe, out in Overland Park, Kansas. And I was able to stumble upon this uh, box that says, Words of Jesus for Everyday Living, you guys, see? And I love to encourage others i love to encourage people because you don't understand you know that we're living in the last days and many events are going to be happening if not if they already are happening but i just want to continue to tell you guys to put your trust in god and continue to keep your head lifted up for your help which cometh okay Jesus want you to keep the hope because he is the hope. He's everything. So I wanted to let you guys see these cards. Um, I took out like five cards out of my box because I want to encourage you guys. Now, um, well, I'm just so excited. I am so excited, you guys. Okay, so here's this card, right? Um, I'm going to be... Um, this is John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life okay so some of these um, scriptures have different versions like the the King New King, King James version the King James versions there are different different Bible um, versions out there but I just want to encourage you guys listen John 3 16 is so important to understand that when you believe in the only son the only son who sacrificed himself for you to have eternity in heaven it's very important you guys God loved the world God he loves the world and he gave his only begotten son and he said, if you believe in him, you will not perish, but will have eternal tea in heaven with Jesus, with God the Father. You will, oh my, thank you, Lord. Oh my, yes, Lord, Father God. God said that if you believe in him, you will not perish, for the kingdom of heaven is yours. Don't let this life here on earth you know change your perception of who Jesus is in the word of God I you know I have my Bible I, I just want to encourage you guys to have faith put God first love him more than anything love your neighbors are you are you um, acting out in faith or are you taking the are you living the word daily you know are you doing everything that God has commissioned you to? Just remember that if you believe in Jesus, the only begotten son, that you will have eternity in heaven. Okay? Now that's one. John 10.10. 10, it says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. God wants not only you to live your full life here on earth but he got something waiting in heaven for you he has 
oh unspeakable joy blessings upon blessings don't worry about what you didn't get here on earth because honey it is stored for you in heaven i'm telling you god love you so much that he does he did everything he could when he went to go prepare a place for you and me yes he did so remember not only john 3 16 but john 10 10 right second corinthians right 12 9 it says my grace is sufficient for your for you my strength is made perfect in weakness for all of you who feel like you are weak god is your strength to carry out the desires of your heart to carry out your daily du duties remember god is your strength when you're weak he is your strength remember that Matthew 5, 3. Look at this, you guys. Matthew 5, 3. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I don't care how poor you may feel that you are. You're so poor to where you don't have two pennies to rub together. I don't care how poor you are. But blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You may be poor spiritually, you may be poor physically, but God has your back. Just have faith and know that all things work together for our good to them who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, right? The last card for today is Luke 6, 23. It says, be happy. Yes, leap for joy for a great reward awaits you in heaven. Listen, you guys. Don't get discouraged what's going on here in the earth. Don't get discouraged when your Redeemer is near. Your salvation in the Lord. Hallelujah. Us Christians, us children of God, will not be here much longer. When the rapture takes place, God is going to take those who believe in His name, who carry out His word, who, who wasn't just hearers of God's word, but actually doers of God's word. You, when you hide the word of God in your heart, you will see the Lord your, your God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you guys. Have faith. Stand on the word of God. Keep God first. Love God with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul. And know that he is for you. When he is for you, who can be against you? Have faith, you guys. I'm praying for you. You are a seceder. You are a child of God. You represent goodness. You represent the Lord. Have faith. Nothing is impossible for our Lord to do in our lives. And just remember... Store your treasures in heaven, not here on earth. So that way, when you get to heaven, that no one can take what belongs to you, okay? Down here is just material. But up there in heaven is yours. It's yours. It's yours. Have faith. God bless you guys. Keep God number one. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you next time.